Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Tech Audio. My name is Bharat Kumar. So in this video, we are going to do a calculator project using Python, right? So guys, if you are new to my YouTube channel, please hit the like button and also subscribe to my YouTube channel, right? So now let's quickly see the agenda what we have today. So firstly, I'm gonna show you the demo of the project, and then second one is creating virtual environment. It is very important. And next up. We will see the how to set up Python Flask code and then writing the front end code for calculator project. In the front end, we are going to use HTML, CSS, and Bootstrap. It is the front end part that we are using this kind of technologies. And then coming to the back end, we are going to use Python and as well Flask. And then running the complete project. I mean, we are connecting back end and front end using the Flask server. And finally, I am going to give you interview questions on this project i hope the agenda is very clear now let's see the demo of this project it is the outcome we are going to get from this project here just give the number 20 and the second number is 50 here i'm choosing addition calculate when we click on that button we are getting this result the result is 70 so when we click on this button back to calculator, it is going to navigate into this page. So guys, it is the demo of this project. So guys, before creating the virtual environment, you need to open Visual Studio Code, right? After that, just click on this, create a new folder. And the folder name is Python Calculator. Now right click, open in integrated terminal. Now you need to click on this folder. Just create new file app.py. We got it right. So now our task is to create virtual environment. So in order to create virtual environment, you need to give this command to the terminal Python venv minus m. Just second Python minus m venv dot env. Let me copy this command. Press on enter. You can see we got this virtual environment. Now, next one is cd dot env. Up next, cd scripts. Then next dot slash activate. We need to activate our virtual environment cd dot env next cd scripts cd scripts now we entered into this dot env scripts now we need to activate our virtual environment yeah it is activated you can see we got this green color dot env that means our virtual environment is activated now we need to come back from this two locations in order to come back cd dot dot next also cd dot dot here i came back from this scripts like that cd dot dot now i need to clear all these operations just enter cls everything is cleared right now so you need to note these points why i created this vnv means virtual environment because for this project, I need to install Flask and other libraries. So I just don't want to install this in my local environment. So that's why I created virtual environment. So in this VNV, I can install any packages that I want to use. Because for example, in my local system, I have Flask 2.0 version. But right now, Flask is running on 3.0 version. So when you try to run this Flask on your local system, it won't run because currently we are using this version for example i'm not sure about the versions but just i'm giving you a clarity so that is why we need to create the vnv so when we create the vnv we are not disturbing the local environment we are installing only the packages that we want to use so guys now you can see we created virtual environment our step one is done so guys now we need to set up python flask code now go to the vs code in this calculator app.py right now come to the terminal give here pip install 
flask it is going to install all the dependencies for this flask we just need to update this pip it is updated now give here cls i just want to clear all the installings from flask i need to import flask object and then next render template and now requests that's it we are only using these packages for this project now i'm taking one variable app here just give the flask in this flask give here name that's it we are creating object for the flask it is done now we need to create route app dot route index for this route i am creating this function render template here i am giving index dot html now let's see what is route route is just is just for mapping the url for example here i want to give my name bharat only so when i open the flask server it is going to show this route only in this route we have this function in this function we are calling this index.html but right now we don't have any template for this index.html so for that we need to create one more folder and the folder name is templates templates in this template select this folder now create a new file index.html here i'm giving only the h1 just heading hello world now we need to save this html file so guys we imported packages imported flask it is done and then we created object for the flask and then we created one route with the name of bharat for this route we are adding one function in that function we are calling this index.html everything is correctly fine now we need to do one more step we need to run this app if name equal to main app app dot run debug so guys you can see for this flask i give this name so if name equal to main i mean then we are running app dot run debug debug is debug is only for running this file to run the app in debug mode that's why we are giving debug equal to true now everything is perfectly set up this control is we need to save this file now come to this terminal python app dot py when we want to run this app dot py we want to give python and then app dot py now click on enter yeah it is running on this port number just copy this one now come here just paste it i think we are running this this file just a second i just want to close this one yeah now control s it is restarting again yeah request your url was not found if you enter the url manually please check that yeah so guys you can see here we created this slash bharat I just want to remove this Bharat from here. Save it. Now restart it. The view function for index did not return a value valid response. Function either return none or without a return statement. So guys, we are not returning this render template. It is my bad. Pardon me for this. Yeah. Control S. Here it is giving this error. Return ended without a return statement now you can see we got this hello world now here i just want to change this hello world hello tech code welcome 
to the first last project just click on save now come here refresh you can see we got this hello take your family welcome to the first last project i want to explain it again because if you done this then we can add more functionalities to this project here so firstly i created this folder in this folder i created separately app.py after that i created virtual environment and then i activated this virtual environment now in the app.py i imported from flask import flask render template render template used for rendering the templates in the templates only we have dot html files right dot html or dot js or dot css this kind of files we are rendering and then next here i created route it is very important you can see in the server also we are getting this route only now here i want to give one more now here i want to change the route and the route name is tech codeio save it we are not getting now we need to give it manually tech codeio now you can see we got this right i hope this routing concept is clear it is only for the mapping the url so for this route i am giving in this function i am just returning this render template so when i run this app.py the execution process starts from top to bottom it is done it is done it is done so when it comes to this function it is going to check this render template we got this index.html so now it is going to search for index.html in the templates folder here we have templates folder that's why in the templates folder we have index.html now i want to make a quick update on this in this template i want to give bharat name let's see it is working or not it is not working you should give the name as templates only it is must to give the name as templates i hope all your doubts are pretty much clear with this code and with this index.html it is very simple right so we are done with setting up the python flask code why i am giving debug equal true means every time we need to update this code according to our functionality when we click on the save button it is automatically saves so that's why we don't need to run this app.py again and again here we wrote this command python app.py when we set it to the debug mode then we can directly update the code by just clicking on the control s control s for saving this file right everything is clear now let's see writing the front end code for this calculator project so guys now let's see the code for front end so for this index.html i have already written the code i'll just paste here because if i want to write this code again it will take so much time right so it is a code for this front end index.html i'll just explain you what i have written let's come from the first line here we are defining the doc type it is a doc type for html it is meant for this html line and then here we define the html tag language is english don't care about this one for the title for this index.html it will show the calculator as a title right here i define the bootstrap because in this code we are using bootstrap css and html the css and bootstrap is only for the styling here in this head i define the style it is the styling for this website so first let's see the html tags and then let's come back to the styling so guys see here i define one div tag with empty five and then h1 is only for the heading calculator and after that i define here a form in this form i have given the route i'm because i'm going to use this route in this app.py previously we used this route but next we are going to use this route because from this form only we are getting the inputs this num1 this num1 and num2 we are going to take from the website 
when a user enter num1 and num2 we need to take it to the back end and we need to do the processing in the back end and then we need to show them result in the front end so in the form action we give this route and method is post when we give the method is post when a user enter any input that will comes to the back end and we can show them to the user it is a method called post right generally we are just posting the number to the back end and getting back to the front end that's it here for this type we are giving number and here also number name is number num1 form control placeholder you can see in the website when we try to enter the number it will show this message enter first number enter second number it is a placeholder it is required required means you should definitely you should enter two numbers without entering two numbers you cannot do this mathematical operations so for this class i have given the form group it is a bootstrap container empty file form group this all are comes under the bootstrap only right so if you want to understand more about bootstrap just go to the documentation of bootstrap and then see just try to learn something about the bootstrap that's it because it is not a tutorial i'm just giving you the project only how the front end and back end works with python right here i've given the same form group here and here because these three divs belongs to the same form group and type equal to submit and class equal to button and primary so first let me run this code i can explain you more clear python app dot py once save this press on enter here remove take audio and then give only backslash yeah so guys you can see we got this web page it is a front end page for our app see try to see here we are giving form group here form group in this form we are giving form group that means these four are having the same same height and same width it is known as the form group when it comes to this div here i give the youtube and then image it is a image when i click on this image it will goes to the my youtube channel right it is about the front end here see if i cannot enter one second i'm entering four and here i'm entering five addition see it is not working we need to do back end for this project now let's do the back end for this project here i'm going to take one more route app dot route in this route just give here calculator calculator and then let's define one function function name is def calculator calculator so guys now we need to get this num1 and num2 from this website so here i'm taking num1 equal to request request dot form we need to get from the form only form and give here num1 it is number one let me write it for num2 also num2 i just want to convert this num1 and num2 into float so here in this web page we have form so we are requesting this form to give us the num1 and num2 here we have defined the name right so when we call this name we can get the input from this website operation we are getting operations see here we have operation this name is operation so we need to get this input also here we need to enter num1 and num2 for this operation we need to select one so this operations is only for that so for this operations i have code ready i'll just show you so guys when operation equals to addition we need to add num1 equal to num2 as a result when operation equal to subtraction we need to we need to minus num1 and num2 when operation equal to multiply we need to multiply or else when operation equal to divide we need to divide for example if anyone give num1 num2 equal to 0 we can return this message cannot divide by 0 or else result equal to num1 by num2 num1 divided by num2 or else invalid operation 
so here we are rendering result.html but we don't have this result.html let's create it result.html i have the code for result also here we are just returning this result variable this variable in this render template result.html in this we are adding one variable in that variable we are passing the same variable result so it is going to display here so guys in this result.html we are giving h1 as a header result the result is result and then we are giving this back to calculator here we give this normal slash normal slash means it will back to this index.html i'll just show you the example let me save it restart it enter the first number 2 and second number is 8 addition one second one second here we give small a need to give capital a so guys enter here first number and enter second number here i have taken the addition calculate see we got 9 as a result so when you click on this back to calculator we are getting this calculator how we are getting this means in this result.html we are giving one href right in this href we are giving this backslash this backslash in the back end it is going to return this index.html for example here i just want to give a and save it and here also i'm giving a let me save it see we are getting error so we need to do it more so guys we are done with the project let me explain you the code once again so here in the app.py we are importing flask and then creating flask object for this route we are rendering this index.html got it just keep understanding about this routing only for this route we are rendering this result.html so we are doing all the process we are getting these two inputs these three inputs from the index.html request.form request.form here we are giving name of that input and then we are doing this operation when the operation is add we need to add result equal to num1 num2 like that one second here i have given the value add for this addition i give the value add for this subtraction i give the value subtraction for multiplication multiply for division divide see we are seeing here the standard names but here we are using this simple names divide multiply like that so i'm just doing the operation with these values only got it so it is a logic it is a normal logic anyone can write this logic but you need to understand about routes these routes are more important right coming to this HTMLs, for this each and every tag i define one class so for this class i'm just giving this styling background color and the text color for these buttons i give the white color it is a white color and the background is black like that once you go through the documentation for this styling you can understand it very clearly right so why i made this project because i need to show you how we can connect back end to the front end right that is a concept so guys from july onwards i'm going to give btec minor projects for free in my youtube channel right so kindly wait for the projects if you are a student if you are a btech student so kindly wait for the projects and do the projects so guys i'm just planning to give you the real time projects right so guys bye for now see you in the next video